You just got to ride the waves, everybody. Ride the waves and go with the flow. I had zero, zero intentions of filming today. Actually, it's Friday. I had zero intentions of carving today. I woke up. I was hacking this morning. Got big lung, whatever they're called, porkers. I thought I, thought I was going to stop breathing. I said, that's it because I'm not carving this weekend. I said, that's it. I'm taking today off too. But once I had a couple cups of coffee sitting at home in my front yard, plans changed. So I found out what um, was wrong with this saw. Why the bar, see the bar was overheating? Chain's a little bit too tight for a carving bar. See it overheating there? That's because I was missing some of these um, chain things. They're like chain sliders that go in there. So I got these. I don't know what happened to them. They're probably down here somewhere when I was cleaning my saw. So make sure that you always got these in your... Uh, saws you know they're they're in here so yeah i got these off another saw so for all you that see my yesterday's video or whatever video um you guys i said that i was working on um some carvings for their uh for the dry grad like their graduation and their they're, the kids that are graduating the teenagers that are graduating their theme is this year for the dry grad is the Ladner Spirit Trails. I think it's called, uh, the theme's called like No Place Like Home. So I carved these couple wood spirits for them yesterday. Is this thing filming? Yeah, it's filming it's and recording. So I carved these wood spirits for them yesterday. I put this tree on this eagle, parrot, um, turkey, chicken. I think I'm going to, uh, possibly carve this later carve this down so it looks like the trunk comes all the way down i don't know we'll see but so i was gonna start carving it i know it gets dark kind of when i'm filming outside i was gonna start carving another wood spirit but i said you know what? i'm just so sick of wood spirits not sick of them but you know i know i didn't i rushed these yesterday but i'm just not sometimes when you're doing something and you're not happy with your you're not happy with the final product or the final art piece take a break from it but um so that's what i'm doing today i cut this up with my uh, 500 eye right here i don't know how much gas i got but today i don't care i've said on lots of my videos owls can be whatever you want them to be they're fantasy creatures so this is just going to be a big fat fluff owl. I don't care. I've never carved an owl like this before. Just see if it turns out. Yep. It's good to leave the bench uh, sit in the sun. Let it dry out. Because that back slab was like 200 pounds soaking wet. But uh, yeah. I don't care if it turns out or it doesn't turn out. It doesn't bother me. It's uh, nice to hear the birds chirping in this tree. I think it's a holy tree. But anyways, yeah, it's like I'm in. The, it's like I'm in a forest, in a jungle with all these birds chirping. Anyways. Most of this video, you're going to see me using my uh, MSA 140 with an 8 inch cannon bar, dime tip, or yeah, dime tip with a quarter pitch chain, 50 gauge. Like I said, I wasn't, um, when I film, I usually have planned things I want to say and do, but today is, is not that. Today is just kind of putter away, happy to be here, happy to be alive, put the camera on the tripod. And film and if it turns out it turns out if it doesn't learn from my mistakes. Well, you're gonna learn from my mistakes on this one anyway, so
you can see what's going on here. Okay, undercut here. Watch that beak here when you get there. Okay, I'll get this other side done, then uh, I'll be back. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so this is definitely not the normal way I do owls, but if you don't try new ways, how are you going to learn new things? So, now I guess I will cut in his eye things. See those lines there? Um, let me get a pen. And, um, you know, you can use two different markers. Like this one's the, the blue one. I can start off with this. That will be my reference. Then for when I know that I, I like that blue line, then I can come on with the thicker black one. And that's my cut line, right? And then, um, did I undercut that? Nope. Then just the other side, try and make it the same, I guess. I don't know if I was filming there, but you'll see there I start cutting in the eyes. So here, I, the eyes will be in here. i got to sink this way in. Then this will be like the kind of Uncle Kevin fluff thing, or whoever carved owls. I think lots of them do it, so lines will be coming out here. And then, um, yeah, so it's two, one, two. Then remove the wood to make them pop out. So we'll do the same with this side too. Okay. So I'm going to uh, take a little break here. Then um, we'll redraw his wings on or her wings or its wings or whatever it wants to be wings these days. And um, we'll get the wings blocked in there. Woo hoo. I uh, noticed lately on my last videos in the last couple weeks, I've been getting pretty fat. Because when I go to Tim Hortons, I get those little mini donuts they got. Anyways, time to stop eating the mini donuts. Less sugar in the cream. Less Sugar in the coffee too, and no cream, just get some friggin' some kind of fake milk bullshit with the nuts or whatever it's called. Hazelnut friggin' stuff thing. Woo! 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 <laughs> so yeah, I was just talking to Just Carve Rob, and uh, he told me he's uh, I'm lucky that I'm filming, because if I didn't film, he would uh, drive down to Canada and the tanks that he got. This hooter is kind of looking like a professor hooter. The professor. 
you know, you can put a robe down here. I'm going to have to message my good buddy Larry Dibbs because he wants me to carve an owl for his mom sitting on books. I don't know if he wanted a planter in it or not, but look at the size of those wings. Don't care. He wanted me to carve a planter for his mom so she, because she loves owls and she loves reading. So I'll have to send him a picture of this one and see if he wants to maybe get this one. Look at that nice red color in that red cedar there. Um, sometimes I talk about my personal life. I've talked about my pet peeves before. I got another pet peeve to share with you guys. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I'm carving with the saw and I got a smoke in my mouth, I forget to light it and you, you're, you're sucking on the thing so much that um, slobber goes down inside the cigarette. Okay, put it in your teeth and then it's, it's just a wasted cigarette because who wants to suck back their own slobber? Anyways. All right. So, yeah, I just spoke to Larry Dibbs about this. And like I said, this is for the dry grad. But um, I'll try carving some books on the bottom. Doesn't matter. Like, it's going to be a fat little owl and have some books on the bottom. I know the wings would kind of hang down there if there are real wings. Make me get out of my chair. Anyways. Back to the office. I need to do some more coffee stuff. So there's the books carved in the silly hooter. This guy's not going to have talons. Owls hide the talons under their belly sometimes. They don't always have to have talons. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoop these eyes in. Yeah, the fun part's over. The fun part's using the chainsaw. Then when you got to start using the... Well, I'm going to get back to the chainsaw. Then uh, when you got to start using the power tools, you got to put your dust... Well, you should have your dust mask when you're doing your chainsaw. Anyways, that's probably why I was hacking up Luger's lot this morning. Here's a cut saw. Is this freaking mic on? It better be. Yep, it is. Here's the cut saw uh, shaping disc. It's the rounder one. I'm going to go in here and scoop it in really... Sorry, I'm going to go in here, real, scoop it in really deep, and uh, really deep here. Make it nice and smooth. Keep an eye on both sides. I'll come to this side, then I'll come over to this side. Anyways, I'll just do a time lapse of that, I guess. That's all I'm going to do right now.
Jordy! Jordy, what are you up to? Oh, not too much. Just uh, trying to make an eagle look like an eagle, not a moth. Uh, parrot, seagull, turkey. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, so back to this owl. Um, it's kind of got like a flat back. It's okay. I think now I'm going to get my, I got my die grinder here. I'm kind of getting tired. Not tired, but kind of, I don't know, don't want to carve anymore. I'm going to refine this beak. And then I'll get the mampa cutters, give them some uh, eyes, and uh, put some lines in this book here. So this bottom book is like the outside of a book. So there'll be words there. And uh, this is a book like that you can see the pages. Didn't carve talons. Don't need them. This guy's so fat. Talons, the fatness like this covers the talons like a dick do. Your belly, your belly hang farther than your dick do. <laughs> Anyways, carry on, Jordy. Uh, cut out the nonsense. Okay, so, you know, this wing should be up here. Not a big deal, like I said, from the very beginning of this video. Owls can be whatever you want them to be. I haven't finished this part yet. On the eyes, I'm going to let the wood dry off a bit. Um, I'm not carving this weekend, so Monday I'll just come and quickly put some eyes in here. And uh, there's the books. Got to put a name down here. May paint his beak black. Let's get this uh, sucker lowered down. Because that's how you can get, because that's where it's going to be. It's going to be lower. Come on, you son of a. And that, that eagle, the eagle, parrot, turkey, vulture, uh, rooster, looks a lot better now, I think. I don't. It's just. It's called a happy mistake. So, let's get this down here. Oh, yeah, I think it looks way but Yeah, it looks awesome when it's down there for sure. And then we'll get the eagle here too. So I carved another quick tree. And uh, just put that in there. So let's uh, get the camera better set up here. Okay, I kind of slouched over here to make sure I'm in the shot. I still got the screws in the eagle here, the tree. Like I said, I used the dowels. I don't know if you guys saw the, I don't know what video it was on, but I'll finish this another day. So, you know, there you can see, like, even if it's like that, you can't even really see it's uh, the moth part, the, the thin part here. <sighs> And this uh, owl kind of looks like an alien right now because I still got to do in this part. But I, I think it, I think it's pretty. I think it's neat. It's fantasy. It can be whatever you want it to be. So these will go to the. Uh, will go to the dry grad for sure. So I got these two, um, two wood spirits. So there's four. I got another couple of other pieces out there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have um, lots for them to take. 
I gotta figure out how I wanna do the eyes with the Mappa tool or get the glass eyes. And I'm gonna have to take a picture of Larry Dibbs, ask him if he's gonna want this for his mom or not. Because maybe he can buy the glass eyes. They're hard to, they're tricky to get, the real glass ones. So that's gonna be it for this. This just getting too warm. My mic working. Um, I got that piece of wood there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I am gonna carve a tiki bar. This will probably be um, Sunday's video. I'm somewhat satisfied with the eagle head, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot better at them. I can see it's cracking right here. I should put some uh, spar urethane on here right now, so it won't crack anymore. Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spar urethane this piece, get it to go nice and dark. So I will probably do that. Anyways, I'm just babbling. Hope you, hope everybody had a good weekend or a happy Sunday if this video is. This is just moonshine in here. It's just water. And uh, I don't know, we got a thing called May Maydays here in Ladner where they have like a beer gardens. I used to go in there and get hammered and pissed and pick up chicks and sorry ladies get into fights and just be a, be a silly, silly man in my younger days. But I'm going to avoid that altogether this weekend. And uh, I'm going to go to a couple flea markets with two different friends, two different places. One tomorrow, this is Friday today, one downtown Vancouver on Saturday and one in Cloverdale on Sunday. And then Monday, I got to go to Vancouver Island too. I don't know, I'm going to go there next week. I got two on-site carves to do. And, uh, like, I'm not getting rich from them, but I'm going to carve some wood spirits or whatever. Some owls, maybe an eagle. But yeah, I'm going to get, that's going to be it for this one, everybody. Talk to you later. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Carbon Fusion, over and out. Yeah. Mm.